The Nigeria Football Federation, the NFF, is like a person standing in a river, yet searching for water. Despite having an abundance of talented football minds in the country, they opt to seek foreign coaches for the Super Eagles. This is reminiscent of the larger issues plaguing Nigerian society, where leadership problems persist despite having brilliant minds in various fields. Today, we delve into a story that echoes the struggles and triumphs of a nation in search of its next Super Eagles coach, despite the rich reservoir of brilliant football minds within Nigeria. The NFF's decision to hire foreign coaches remains puzzling. Having already frustrated Fanidi George after just two competitive games, the coaches they seek around Europe are definitely not world-class or better than the indigenous coaches. This scenario is akin to a person in a river, surrounded by water, yet screaming about soap in their eyes. It's a baffling situation, and one wonders if the NFF is blind to the talent within their reach. Let's take a closer look at the talents the Nigerian Football Federation is overlooking. Michael Imanalo, currently a sporting director in the Saudi Pro League, he rose from the ranks as a coaching staff at Chelsea to a technical director. He is often applauded for restructuring Chelsea's academy. Shea Yolofinjana, a midfielder in his playing days and currently oversees Chelsea's talent management in Africa. Michael Ensign, the current head coach for the U.S. men's national under-19 team and a former Nigeria under-23 player, and once coached FC Tulsa in the USL Championship. Ndubisi Egbo, manager of FK Bailis in Albania, a former Super Eagles goalkeeper and represented Nigeria at two AFCON tournaments. Igbo became the first ever Nigerian coach to lead a European team to a league title after his team were crowned 2019-2020's Albanian League champions. The team also qualified for the UEFA Champions League. Emmanuel Amunike, currently a consultant at Zanaco FC, African Footballer of the Year in 1994, and even became more popular after his heroics with the Nigeria Under-17 youth team in 2015 winning the Under-17 World Cup. Samson Siasir, Siasir isn't new to the Nigerian football scene. Having coached the Under-20 and Under-23 youth teams multiple times and was last in charge of the Super Eagles in 2016, he is, however, suspended by FIFA, but should be in the game after August 5, 2024. Sunday Olise, former Super Eagles head coach and coach of SV19 Stralin in 2022. He resigned barely eight months into his stay as Super Eagles manager due to contract violations by the Nigerian Football Federation. Daniel Amokachi. Amokachi, who turned down the assistant coach job in 2024, but was an assistant during the victorious 2013 AFCON. Sylvanus Opala. Opala was assistant coach during the 2013 AFCON triumph. These are not just names, they are heroes of Nigerian football, each bringing a wealth of experience and a deep understanding of the game. The NFF has a treasure trove of talent at its disposal. The question remains, why search abroad when the best are right here in Nigeria? The future of Nigerian football depends on recognizing and nurturing our own. It's time for the NFF to embrace the talent within, to trust in the brilliance of our own legends. The next Super Eagles coach should be indigenous for the love of the game and the pride of a nation. With that being said, which Nigerian coach should the Nigerian Football Federation consider hiring? Let's hear you out in the comments section. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.